Hey, my name is Esper, and I am here to talk to you about all of the clues as of February 13th, 2021 in the Oxenfree new ARG. If you don't know what an ARG is, it's an alternate reality game. And it's a game that's played kind of IRL. Um, it's being played on Twitter, on the internet. It's clues that are being dropped for... Uh, people to figure out what is going on. So currently we have about, I think, four to five clues. I may be miscounting on that. But if you don't already know, there is a Twitter account called at x-ray 916-936-3733. Link will be in down in the description below if you haven't already followed this Twitter this is where all of the clues are being posted. So that is where you want to tune in if you want to play along with this ARG. So this all kicked off yet again. Uh, if you weren't aware, there was an ARG in 2016. And that was when the game first came out. And this year, this was the fifth uh, year anniversary. I believe it is on January uh, 19th, the fifth year anniversary of Oxen Free. So they tweeted out this GIF, which you can see here cycles through a few different phases of the moon. It goes through the full moon, half moon, new moon, and the other half moon, and then the letter N. And what I find strange about this is that first I thought that the N could stand for new moon. However, there is an actual new moon in the GIF, in one of the phases. So I think the N is a standalone character that is not meant to is not meant to be part of the moon cycle. I had an idea for it um, that I can mention later down the road, but it, after reading some tweets from the the replies and stuff. My theory seems far more far-fetched than anything else, but I'll still mention it uh, later when we get to that clue. So the next thing that the X-Ray account tweeted is on January 22nd, they tweeted out Dame Millicent Fawcett, 16. So... Dame Millicent Fawcett is an English politician, writer, and feminist. She was born on June 11th, 1847. Remember that date because it is going to be important later on. And Fawcett became the leader of the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies. Uh, that was Britain's main suffragist organization. Remember back when women couldn't vote. Um, and she, at first I thought that the 16 after her name referred to the 16 books that she wrote. So on the screen right now is all 16 books that she wrote. Also, what a wild, wild concept of just like writing 16 whole books but I started to think maybe it's the initials maybe uh, we're supposed to form words um, by using all of these uh, initials or something else or taking words from it however there is just a lot of consonants in this a lot of S's, a lot of B's, a lot of P's. There's a lot of consonants. And I don't really think that there's enough vowels in 
these to form like a full coherent sentence. It might be some sort of cipher that I'm not smart enough to actually figure out, but I was thinking that the 16 could be referring to her 16 authored books, but that may not be the case. Um, we'll move on to the next one and we'll tie everything up together. So the next one, the next tweet is Nikolai Bugayev 21. So sorry if I absolutely butchered that. Um, and he was a prominent Russian mathematician. He studied mathemat mathematics, words are hard, uh, and physics, and then went on to study engineering. And this is the thing that I clung on at 3 a.m. this morning when I was researching, is that he wrote a master's thesis on the convergence of infinite series. And I don't know particularly why I clung on to this. I think just because of the concept of in Oxenfree, also spoilers ahead for Oxenfree, uh, if you haven't played it already. In Oxenfree, all of the spirits of the Canaloa were trapped in this sort of um, limbo. They're trapped in this sort of like bubble in time. And the, the convergence of infinite series kind of just made me think of all of those people's lives and all of that time converging into that single point that they're trapped in of life between life like between life and death and they can't quite get out and you know they can't quite live or die and i think that's probably why i clung on to um the convergence of infinite series and this is where i thought the end came in so in a in a sum uh there is uh, I'll put it on screen later when I'm editing this. Uh, there is a symbol for a sum and on top of it is the number that you want to go to. And then the number below, which is N equals. And usually that is the number that you plug into uh, what the S is that equals to. I'm not good at math. Um, I'm clearly, I'm sorry if I've lost anybody, uh, but I was thinking that they were going to give us the N or that N was equal to four. And we have to find what the convergent series formula is, um, which I think is much more complicated than what this ARG is actually looking to accomplish. But if anybody is quite good at math, let me know. Uh, I took it in college like many years ago and I was not good at math. I was not good at math. So if anybody out there is good at math, um, let me know if you think anything of this convergence, ser convergence series theory. I, I also completely butchered the name of the theory. Anyway, this is, I think, the more plausible tweet. Uh, sorry, more, more plausible theory is that uh, somebody tweeted out uh, this screenshot of somebody saying, I figured it out. Dame Millicent Fawcett was born on the same day that Nikolai was born. Um, the old ARG died in 2016, new one born in 2021. Uh, and then Dame Millicent Fawcett, 16, Nikolai Bugaev, 21. Uh, and that is to say June 11th, something is going to happen. And I think that may be it. Honestly, I think me going and learning calculus at 3 a.m. was a little bit of a stretch. Um, 
And I don't think that they're going to be like, hey, find the limit of this. <laughs> um, but it was a, it was a fun exercise. Um, I actually, I have a bunch of notes, like trying to remember my college calculus. So we're going to move on from that. And remember what I said, remember that date is going to become important. The next person uh, we have is James Cook. I actually didn't screen cap the tweet for this, sorry. Um, and this was tweeted out on February 2nd, and it was James Cook 9. So I wasn't really sure what the 9 was. Um, I'm still unsure really of what it is. The numbers are kind of throwing me off. However, um, somebody did point out that there was another, yet another uh, Jan uh, sorry, June 11th um, relation, which is that continuing north on June 11th, a mishap occurred when the Endeavor ran aground on the shoal of the Great Barrier Reef and then nursed into a river mouth on June, on 18th, June, 1770. So James Cook was a commander that oversaw a construction of ironclad ram CSS Albemarle. Um, and the thing that I pointed out was um, that ship was under construction at Edwards Ferry near modern modern day Scotland Neck, North Carolina. So this person was a ship commander. And because of the themes in Oxen Free, this is kind of what I clung on to. Uh, there is a mention of Edwards Ferry, which reminded me of Edwards Island. And I think that we're kind of converging on June 11th as the date that something is going to happen. However, I'm not thoroughly sure as to what the numbers still exactly mean because it makes sense for Dame Millicent Fawcett to have the 16th and for Nikolai Bugayev to have 21. But where is the nine coming from? And that's why I'm eager to think that there is something else there. And also, by the way, if you have any, any theories or any ideas, please put them down in the comments below. I want to talk to people about this. I want to like theorize with people. I want to just get really into this ARG. I was very jealous when I watched the documentary for the first ARG, I'll put that down in the description below. And I was like, oh man, I wish I was into Oxen Free back then. I, I wanted to participate. But here we are in 2021 and there's a new ARG, so I'm not going to pass up the chance. Anyway, the next clue comes on February 4th when the account tweeted out the numbers after the Twitter handle. Um, and this is actually a phone number and I'm actually going to cut to me yesterday calling this number. Um, please state your name after the phone and call for the Esper. Alpha. 
All right. So I genuinely do not know what that is about. Um, I am on the Discord for uh, the ARG. I will ask one of the admins if I could toss the link down in the description below. Um, and if if I get the okay to do so, um, I will have the Discord link in there. Uh, I haven't caught up in all the ARG talk. Um, a lot of this is my own research. I They're very, very good at this whole ARG thing. However, there is a lot of chat messages to catch up to. So I have not caught up. Um, I may do yet another video if anybody wants me to include their own research. Um, but I'm definitely going to make more ARG videos as more things pop up. Anyway, let's get on to the last clue that we have so far. And this was on February 11th. And the tweet reads, Her Majesty's ship Halsted 9. And this is a picture of Halsted K556. And there are actually two ships called uh, HMS uh, Halsted. And one was a U.S. Navy destroyer. And that was, I believe, K504. And no, that was that was K-56. Sorry. And that one, that ship was declared a total destructive loss on, can you guess, June 11th. And the other was HMS uh, Barbados, K-504. And that was renamed into HMS um, Halstead, I believe. And this was uh, designated to be a patrol gunboat, which was design uh, reclassified as a patrol frigate. And why I found this interesting is that a patrol frigate, maybe I'm mispronouncing this, sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, um, according to Wikipedia, is an anti-submarine escort. And I don't, it's been a while since I've played Oxenfree, and I actually do intend to do the new game plus on stream. Um, if you're interested, my links are down in the description below. Um, obviously, you're not obligated to do anything. However, I will be streaming uh, Oxenfree uh, on my Twitch channel. And the, the reason why this stuck out to me as the one that they're talking about is that first K504, if you add five plus zero plus four, you get nine HMS ship Halsted nine. Bit of a stretch, but you know what? Everything in this video is a stretch as of this point. Um, so what really struck me about that was that the Canaloa exploded like it was a nuclear explosion and that's why they're stuck in this kind of like pocket dimension time and i'm wondering because the patrol frigates were equipped with anti-submarine technologies and weapons if they are hinting at how the Canaloa exploded. I'm not sure. I'm actually going to look that up right now. Hang on. I, I went back to the wiki entry to refresh my memory. And it was... The Canaloa was fired upon um, because Maggie Adler mistook the message as an attempt to jam the radar and followed her guidebook on recommendations and signaling for surrounding ships to scout and bomb if needed. Uh, they do mention the exact ship 
that bombed the Canaloa, which is the USS Walter Roy. However, that's why I kind of clung on to the idea that this ship um, may be part of whatever they're trying to tell us because it's a patrol frigate it's equipped with anti-submarine technologies and weapons so i am not thoroughly sure as to what exactly they're trying to tell us so far and out of as as of this point it is just a matter of a waiting game for this <laughs> Um, it's just a matter of waiting for the next tweet to come and for more and more theorizing by everybody on Twitter, Reddit, Discord. I do believe the Discord is the most active. Um, yeah, post all of your theories down below. Uh, let me know if there's anything I missed. Let me know if there's anything that um, you want to add. And all of my links below are down in the description if you want to tweet your theories at me. And yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.